Hi guys, so in this video I'm quite excited to come to you with this because I've been practicing how to make the spiral nail more stable. Now to make a spiral nail it takes a lot of hard work and it is obviously more complicated to do than a normal nail. So you want it to try and stay for as long as you can. So I first got thinking whether I could put some acrylic around the straw that I used and then file it down and see if that could be put in, but that wouldn't work. It was just a little bit too thick to put into the spiral nail. So then I thought about these brushes that I've got. Now anything will do, anything that is thin enough and you can you know, move it around inside the spiral nail so you can build the acrylic up around this. So I put the acrylic on another one of these and it wouldn't come off. So what I thought of was to get some cling film, wrap that around the brush and see if that worked. And it did. I was so pleased. Because really you want something that is virtually see-through. I know this isn't technically see-through. It's still got some of the cling film on it inside. But once you put it in your nail... You can hardly see it anyway. And as I said, it's basically to keep the nail stable because even if you put the straw back in, the straw is bendy and it could still just, it's no good when you need strength to keep the nail where it is. So I'm going to go through and show you how I did it and how I filed it, I put top coat on and then I made it to fit. to do just put your brush in the liquid get some clear and then just dab it on the back of a paper towel just to get rid of some of the liquid in the brush so it's not slopping all over the brush when you put it on it just going to wait for that to completely dry it's just a thin layer over the end of the brush and just see how that fits in the spiral nail before I decide to put any more on so that's nearly dry now and then just put it in and as you can see it still sort of waggles about in the nail so I'm just going to put one more layer of acrylic over it So now that's dry, I'm just going to put it in a little bit to see if it fits, which it does. So with the cling film being on there, you can just pull it off. Fortunately, some of the cling film does stay in there, which is a bit of a pain, but just get as much as you can out. And then what I tend to do is just get, get the cling film off, put it back on. And then you can file it from there, it's a lot easier than holding it in your fingers. And then just file it nice and straight. So once you've filed around it, just file the top and the bottom. Put it back on the brush. And then I'm going to use glaze and go and put it over the top. And then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. So now that's nice and dry, just take it off and put it on your nail. Now you only really need it from the bottom one to the top one, just so that when people look at it, you can hardly see it's there because it's sort of see-through. 
I really just wanted to come up with something that helps strengthen the nail because I loved the spiral nails. It was just the fact that they would never stay on. And believe it or not, these have lasted now three days and I'm really chuffed that I don't have to be careful with them anymore. And what I will do next time, I do a spiral nail, I will get the straw and I will put acrylic over the straw, do the same thing I've done with these and then glue it onto my nail tip, do the spiral nail around it and then leave it in there because then you've just got an instant strengthener to the spiral nail. So if you do try these spiral nails, I really hope this helps. I know you can see them a little bit, but anything's better than it snapping off after a day or two of you doing all that work to produce some, such a lovely nail. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.